Okay, so I think it's a creation of the Macedonian by Troja, Peradin, and Francis Types. So, my name is Hilo Peradin, I come from the University of Zagreb. I will be saying a few things about this machine translation system. system. First, uh, the motivation for this development, the uh, system was developed during the Google Summer of Code in 2011. Uh, both languages are closely related with relatively few resources, um, almost none free resources. And commercial machine translation systems don't have large support of those <coughs> languages. Google Translate supports uh, Serbian Croatian and Macedonian. Um, so, and Sistran supports just Serbian and Croatian. Uh, Serbo Croatian and Macedonian are languages of the South Slavic language group. Macedonian is together with Bulgarian and Eastern branch, while uh, Serbian, Croatian, Bosnian, and Montenegrin is together with Slovenian in the Western branch. Here, um, this map is based mostly on ethnicity, not so much on linguistics, but you can see the how the languages are set here. So, uh, the Macedonian language is the official language of the Republic of Macedonia. It was standardized uh, at the end of the Second World War. The standardization was based on the central dialects. It's written in Cyrillic script and spoken by uh, over 1.6 million people in this region, so in the Republic of Macedonia and the surrounding regions, and abroad. Uh, Serbo Croatian is basically a term covering four standard languages. It's, um, the standardization started in the 19th century based on the non Shokavian dialect, which was the most widely spread in the area. It was an attempt to unify uh, the peoples linguistically and literally, um, but the unification never really went through. So basically now we have uh, four standard languages based on the same dialect. Um, and altogether, it's spoken by over 16.3 million people. There are two literal variants of the language, uh, based on the reflex of the Baldur Yat, uh, Akkadian variant and the Iakadian variant. Uh, the language is written in Cyrillic and Latin, while um, basically Serbian language is written, written along with Montenegro in both scripts. And the Serbian language uses both of the variants, while Bosnian, uh, Montenegrin, and Croatian use only the Akkadian variant. Uh, the differences between the standards are mostly in vocabulary and in style. The grammars are pretty similar. There are some orthographical differences, but they are minor, so uh, that's why we grouped them into one common module. Macedonian and Serbo Croatian are mutually intelligible in, in high degree, but there are some substantial grammatical differences. For instance, um, Serbo Croatian has typical uh, Slavonic system of seven morphological cases, while Macedonian has dropped the declension to just locative and nominative and simplified the declension of pronouns. So basically, uh, phrases that can be expressed in Serbo Croatian with cases are expressed in Macedonian with. Uh, prepositional constructions and combinations of critics. Uh, Serbo Croatian has a more detailed gender mark in, in singular and plural, and has elements, elements in the masculine gender, while Macedonian has neutralized the uh, gender difference in plural, and animacy is left only in limited cases. Macedonian has uh, a definite article. While Serbo Croatian has definitely expressed in some adjectives to a certain degree. Uh, on the other hand, Macedonian has a lot of innovations uh, in the verbal system, uh, besides uh, retaining the tenses which are archaic in Serbo Croatian, it has developed a complicated system of compound tenses, and Serbo Croatian has a relatively simple verb. So basically, our logic was. Uh, to go from a more detailed morphology to a less detailed morphology. Um, Macedonian is, is analytical in a higher degree, so we thought that this direction would be easier to perform. Uh, the design 
<coughs> system was developed on the operating platform. Uh, Kevin told something about it before. Operating is open source, it has over 30 mature language pairs. It started out as a system for uh, machine translation of closely related Romance languages, so most work on the pattern is done in Romance languages, although there is some work done here on uh, Nordic languages and recently some work has been done on Slavic languages as well. Macedonian and Bulgarian and so uh, This is the description of the pipeline that Kevin already described it. So basically, uh, we used the LT2 box format for analysis and generation, and for uh, lexical transfer. And synthetic and structural transfer was performed by the Aperton transfer module, which is um, a form of writing rules for word reordering and syntactic chunking. Uh, for the simplification step, we used constraint grammar, which is a scale and described. Uh, it's a formalism that uses uh, handwritten rules to reduce ambiguity. The constraints are applied to a stream of tokens, and then, according to the context, readings can be excluded, selected, or modified. Uh, the developing process. This space is oh, Okay, thank you. So, a uh, number of resources for Croatian and Serbian exist already. Uh, there is the Croatian Morphological Lexicon, which is a manually composed list of uh, word surface forms and uh, lemmatized analysis. Uh, Molex is a similar thing, but it's obtained by machine learning, so it's less precise. Crotag is a statistical tagger for Croatian, and uh, in Multext East, there are lexicons for the Serbian and Macedonian for Orwell's 1984. Also, there is an index for morphological analysis of Serbian. But none of these resources are freely available, so we had to compose our own ourselves. So we did the development of the morphological analyzer from scratch. Uh, we use the following resources with the Croatian grammar, uh, the Croatian language portal, which has very nice and detailed definitions of words and inflection paradigms. paradigms. We use the AC times in Wikipedia corpus, and of course we use dictionaries on Wikipedia. Uh, for Berlin resources, we really didn't have much to work with. We had the AC times parallel corpus and an online electronic dictionary. For Macedonian, we used the analyzer generated from the Macedonian Bulgarian language pair, which was developed by Tikhina Rango two years ago. Uh, we used the digital dictionary of the Macedonian language, which is kind of similar to the Croatian dictionary. Uh, the reference were made by Victor Friedman, and we have a consultant on the language. So the analyzer was uh, written in LT toolbox, the lexicon was composed to match the lexicon of uh, the Macedonian and Bulgarian language pair. So basically, we were matching that frequency list and not uh, frequency list made from uh, subpopulation corpus. Uh, we formed the paradigms according to the panel and we find it to, to match uh, words from the corpus. We used the metadix format to cover uh, dialect variants. So basically, uh, a Kavian and a Kavian can be equally analyzed with our analyzers. So if you Rieka or Reka to be analyzed equally. Same with PS9 and PS9. For this integration, we used constrained grammar. Uh, turned out to work really fine with a relatively small number of rules. Uh, however, we couldn't combine it with a statistical tagger because there was no focus to turn it on and the uh, system, as we use it, couldn't use the unsupervised training algorithm standardly using the operating pipeline. So here are some simplified uh, rules of constraint grammar. Uh, the general structure of 
inside one of rooms is you have a select or remove rule, a grammatical category, and a set of conditions. If the conditions are correct, the operation is performed. So this rule uh, selects the adverb reading. If the current word is ambiguous between adverb or adjective, and the word it follow, following it is a verb. So when we apply this rule, the adverb reading is selected. A uh, second common ambiguity in civil creation is dative versus locative. They're always orthographically identical. How a locative uh, comes with a certain set of uh, prepositions, while dative cannot come, cannot be preceded by preposition. Okay. So we have this sentence, broad period of Lucy. Ah, okay. <laughs> Cheap approach is harder. The gloss is wrong, um, and the rule selects that if this set of conditions is um, correct. So, if we have the data block of ambiguity, uh, there is not a preposition before it, and uh, there is not a modifier for the word like an adjective or pronoun, which is not this is the case. So, this rule selects that. Um, a simple noun phrase agreements. We have Lia Pajena, pretty woman. Um, Lia is an adjective which is ambiguous between neutral plural and feminine singular. And Jena uh, is ambiguous between feminine singular nominative and feminine plural genitive. So these two rules are applied. Um, this marking here is the unification tag. It uh, signifies iteration over the entire set of this category. Uh, this category contains gender and number. So basically what this rule does if it encounters a modifier in a gender and number and it's followed by a word that can have gender number case without that gender and number the modifier is removed. So in this case we have an adjective that has a neutral plural, neutral plural reading, reading and a noun that doesn't have it, so the reading is removed. An adjective, the adjective is disambiguated as feminine signal. Similarly, this rule uh, would select to the noun and removes the gender number reading. Uh, if the left of it is a modifier without the gender and the noun. So this entire phrase, phrase is now correctly disambiguated. Um, prepositions in general can be used in quite a great number of cases to do some innovation. So this uh, phrase um, can be dealt with in this way. So, this rule removes the preposition marking the case if it's followed by a nominal verb, which is not in this case. So, uh, the preposition now is ambiguous between accusative and locative, it's followed by an adjective in locative, so we remove the accusative. Uh, the second rule does similarly remove the case from the nominal verb if it's not preceded by a preposition in the same case or a modifier in the same case. So basically we uh, apply this rule successively three times to the epony, then found then another, and we get the correct distributed locative phrase. Um, the binding of the dictionary was likewise written in the article box formats, composed mainly to match the what we did was we um, sorted words specific to certain standards uh, in different sections, so when the other direction will be implemented, translations can be made to the Bosnian Serbian population. Uh, syntactic transfer is performed by the operation transfer model. It is two levels. The first level performs tag mappings, normalization, 
uh, taking your face in syntactic ch chunks, and the second level matches those syntactic chunks and does operations on them. Uh, some examples of transfer rules. Uh, future tense in both equation and Macedonian is compound. Uh, in equation it would be actually directive. In Macedonian it would be as speed level. Um, you can see that the information here is uh, definitely set. The critic in equation carries the person and number information. While uh, in Macedonia, the person in number information is only a verb. So we wrote a number of transfer rules to switch the information from the critic to the verb. Mm. The order of critics in both languages is different. For instance, in this sentence, I will turn around. In this equation, the correct way would be operandchusa, and in Macedonian, it would be kesselbrana. So we wrote a series of rules to match critic agreement and to reorder them in the correct way. The, is this because the grammatical construction is different that you have to find out? And the input watch a broader. Um, it's it's basically uh, the, the nature of the language is uh, critics in the several equations have come in this order. First comes this critic and then uh, reflects it. But the Macedonian first the future critic comes it's yes, but they are the same. Uh, ah, okay, yeah. Well, Ms. Macedonian has a frozen critic form for all uh, persons. So it's always K, and in the equation it changes. Another question? Uh, I think he was asking if it's, the reason is because um, in Macedonian it's finite, yeah. and in some equation it's uh, not finite. So do you get the critics after if it's non finite, and before if it's finite? No. In some equation? No. no. We got this is always after the main goal. Yes. Okay. Um, so, as I said, uh, cases in this operation translate as preposition in phases in so on. So, this is one such example the instrumental case, uh, late avion, and this so operation translates as late avion, so avion, with airplane. So we wrote a number of rules to match these things and uh, insert prepositions before the nouns. Did you find a lot of exceptions to like maximize exceptions? Uh, yes, I'll, I'll get some examples later. So, uh, one of the big issues here was the absence of definite article in civil probation. So. Uh, it's very difficult to tell when to put the definite article in Macedonian. We came up with a few tricks, this is one of them. So basically, you have uh, in composition of the Serbian army. Um, the Serbian army is a proper noun in genitive, and the composition is just a noun. So in these cases, we infer that this noun is often always be definite. So. Also, in the case where definiteness is marked on the subequation adjectives, we can directly transfer definiteness. So, if we have a li of tan, we can translate it as uva ten, lovely day, and li of tan, it is uva bit then the lovely day. Uh, evaluation. Okay, this, this is the current status of the language uh, You can see the number of monolingual entries we have, uh, the number of bilingual entries, and the number of groups. The, the most uh, time consuming task was to write the monolingual dictionary and the bilingual dictionary. It took about two thirds of the entire time. Uh, 
uh, these are some results on coverage and quantitative evaluation. Coverage was measured on, uh, on the combined visit uh, times focus and on the Wikipedia focus. Um, we have better results on the LC times uh, because, probably because of the, uh, the frequency width for the analyzer is built on the LC times focus. Uh, quantitative evaluation was performed on four articles from AC Times. Uh, two of the articles were, were chosen with very high coverage and two with relatively low coverage to see how the system would work in ideal conditions and realistic conditions. Um, we calculated the uh, WR and PER by the number of changes they had to be made uh, in post editing documents. This is the baseline transliteration. Basically, the sources are translated into serial and using the results. Uh, the numbers are a bit strange because uh, our translator didn't really understand what he had to do. He did a lot of style changes and the way we were doing it, so uh, we got really powerful numbers. So the common problems, uh, we have a relatively small number of CG rules, so this indication is sometimes incorrect and incomplete. Uh, the coverage of the lexicon is very low, so unknown words can disrupt the flow of this indication into other kinds of problems. The definite article, um, except in the cases when we could infer it, it's really not possible to make up really clearly when it should come. Uh, Macedonian has a more elaborate herbal structure, so some nuances in Macedonian are difficult, difficult to express in translation. Uh, we have here one technical problem. The Macedonian doesn't have uh, an active verbal participle for perfected verb forms. So we can make the translation just like the other directly for imperfected verbs, but for this we it came to us, apparently it normalizes to uh, one verb form, but it's incorrect. Um, so though civil creation has a detailed morphology, cases do not always translate consistently into propositional constructions. One notable example is uh, genitive, which can have a number of functions. Uh, particularly, for instance, chasha vode, uh, translates as chasha voda, which means a glass of water, and when it's possessive, um, can, can, it's translated differently, but the source language form is the same. Same thing with instrumental. Um, Odam ulica uh, is translated to Odam for ulica, which means I'm walking using the street instead of I'm walking along the street. Also, um, both languages have a free order of main constituents, so sometimes you can have long distance relationships. You have a sentence like the airplane ride was decisive, and this adjective basically agrees with the ride version. While in the translation, they're not matched because they're too far, so version translates to Bosnia, which is neuter, but this adjective stays feminine in translation. In terms of future work, uh, definitely there should be an increase in lexical ecology and the number of disintegration laws. Uh, so, more serious work, work can be done with logic proper. Uh, some mobilities are difficult to impossible to resolve rule base, so the system should be combined with machine learning methods. Uh, Philip Petrovsky is currently working. Um, in the sum of code and, and the system like that. And uh, the morphological analysis for civil creation is going to be used in the development of the new language pair, civil creation study. So I have described the machine translation system with civil creation Macedonian. It's the, it's the first machine translation system between the two languages and uh, first machine translation support in Bosnia. 
We describe the tools and give an example for the rules, uh, given the evaluation and that's it. Thank you. <laughs> Well, uh, basically, we use it in more in writing rules for the transfer. In the volume dictionary was written uh, by using the Alfram dictionary, well, by the way. Yeah. 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 So, uh, some information. Uh, the lunch will be one floor down from here. You can go there.